I approached a total, I think about 60 artists. Now, artists I regard as the good contemporary South African artists, hopefully in future also international. Uh, and we're mostly social commentators, people who deal with looking at the environment and wanting to make some statement about it. And I got a very good response, you can see. A total of 39, 40 artists. One of them unfortunately had to put out. And a number of them, in fact, quite a few of them, most of them, made work specifically for the show, which to me is a pat on my back for in terms of that. And in the context of South Africa, I thought, oh, brilliant. I mean, first of all, it's a square work with, most, with a lot of people. But it's also this, this meaning, and I find Kakutopia much more uh, descriptive of what's happening here than dystopia. To me, dystopia is, for example, uh, you can get an earthquake and then you can flatten the city and that will be dystopia. Whereas Kakutopia is much more man-made, corrupt politicians, uh, greedy uh, business people, etc. Et so that's how it came about. The way I do it, it's uh, I put the work out and then I move it around for about three days before we start hanging. And I try to create conversations, uh, like issues talking about the land, other issues talking about the political situation, uh, and then sort of counterpointed or emphasized by the odd utopian work in the year or there, and works that are challenging to to comprehend and understand. So, and it's more my gut feel as I go along, more than anything else. Till eventually, when I say, okay, that works, and I'm happy. I tend to focus on what I would regard as a good show. And there are a number of works here that's actually not for sale either because I threw some gallery that don't want me to sell it, although there's only one actually. Uh, last time I had more. So sales to me is a bonus. To me, if the, the concept of the exhibition comes over, if it creates interest and more importantly debate in the viewers, and think a little bit about what they see, um, and hopefully create an interest for them to follow more of essential benefits, then I've achieved what I wanted to do. I'm more, although I'm not an academic, I like my shows to have a, a little bit of an academic feel to it. I'm hoping to travel. Uh, Illuminates have shown interest. Uh, one of the artists here, for example, is Gerard Hutton, who's, as you know, is a free state artist, and he's also with on the Illuminates board, so he's keen. Uh, Rico works here, used to work at the, uh, Humphreys, what do you call it, um, the one in Kimberley anyway. Uh, so it's, it's a fair chance that we'll go there as well. As, in terms of the size in Northwest University, watch. Those are about the only three, or three outside of this I can think of where the venue is large enough to accommodate. 